the heart-wrenching tale of Ali Asgar in Karbala. In the heart-wrenching saga of Karbala, one name evokes profound sorrow and an unparalleled sense of injustice, Ali Asgar ibn Hussein. The youngest child of Hussein ibn Ali, Ali Asgar's story is one of innocence shattered by the brutality of a ruthless regime. His life, albeit short, serves as a powerful testament to the inhumanity that can arise from a lust for power and the depths of sacrifice one can endure in the fight for righteousness. Ali Asgar was born into the illustrious lineage of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him in Medina in 680 CE. His father, Hussein ibn Ali, was the grandson of the Prophet and a revered figure in the Muslim world. However, Ali Asghar's birth came at a time of great turmoil and upheaval in the Islamic community. Yazid ibn Muawiyah had ascended to the caliphate, demanding allegiance from Hussein, who refused to recognize Yazid's rule due to his corrupt and tyrannical governance. This refusal set the stage for the tragic events that would unfold on the plains of Karbala. The journey to Karbala was marked by hardship and persecution. Hussein, accompanied by his family and a small group of loyal followers, set out from Mecca towards Kufa. They were intercepted by Yazid's forces and redirected to the desolate land of Karbala. For days, Hussein and his companions were denied access to water under the scorching desert sun. Despite the unbearable conditions, Hussein remained steadfast in his principles, embodying the spirit of resilience and unwavering faith. On the fateful day of Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, in 61 AH, 10th of October 680 CE, the battle reached its zenith. As the morning sun cast its harsh light upon the parched land, Hussein faced a stark reality. He was outnumbered and outmatched. His companions and family members fought valiantly, but one by one they fell to the overwhelming might of Yazid's army. The cries of anguish and the clashing of swords filled the air, creating a symphony of sorrow and desperation. Amid this chaos, Hussein held his infant son, Ali Asgar, close to his heart. The child, innocent and unaware of the horrors unfolding around him, was parched and suffering. Driven by a father's love and desperation, Hussein carried Ali Asgar to the battlefield hoping that the sight of the innocent child might awaken some semblance of humanity within Yazid's soldiers. Hussein raised his son towards the enemy and pleaded for a drop of water to quench the infant's thirst. His voice, filled with the pain of a father and the dignity of a leader, resonated across the battlefield. Yet instead of compassion, Hussein's plea was met with cruelty. Harmala ibn Kahil, one of Yazid's archers, took aim and released an arrow that pierced the tender neck of Ali Asgar. The infant's life was extinguished in an instant, leaving Hussein to cradle his lifeless body. This moment, immortalized in the annals of history, epitomizes the brutality and mercilessness of Yazid's forces. The blood of Ali Asgar mingled with the dust of Karbala, staining the earth with an innocence that was ruthlessly taken away. The martyrdom of Ali Asgar is more than just a tragic episode. It is a symbol of the ultimate sacrifice and the depths of human cruelty. His death serves as a poignant reminder of the innocent lives that are often caught in the crossfire of power struggles and tyranny. It highlights the devastating impact of oppression and the profound grief that accompanies the loss of innocence. Following the massacre at Karbala, the survivors, primarily women and children, were taken captive and paraded through the streets of Kufa and Damascus. Among them was Zainab bint Ali, Hussein's sister, whose resilience and eloquence would later ensure that the story of Karbala and the martyrdom of Ali Asgar were never forgotten. The sight of the captives, along with the severed heads of the martyrs, including that of Hussein, mounted on spears, served as a gruesome testament to Yazid's tyranny. Ali Asghar's brief life and tragic death have left an indelible mark on Islamic history, particularly within Shia Islam. His story is commemorated every year during the month of Muharram, especially on the day of Ashura. 
mourners across the world gathered to remember the sacrifice of Hussein and his family, with special emphasis on the innocence of Ali Asghar. Majlis, gatherings, and sad poems, elegies, dedicated to him evoke deep emotions and reflections on the nature of sacrifice, justice, and tyranny. Ali Asghar's martyrdom is not merely a historical event, but a symbol of the ongoing struggle against oppression and the quest for justice. His story resonates with the timeless themes of love, sacrifice, and the fight against tyranny. It serves as a powerful reminder that even the most innocent lives can be impacted by the cruelty of those in power, and it calls upon the living to honor the memory of those who have suffered by striving for a world where justice and compassion prevail. The legacy of Ali Asghar is enshrined in the hearts of millions who mourn his loss and draw inspiration from his sacrifice. His story is a testament to the profound grief that accompanies the loss of an innocent life and the enduring impact of such a sacrifice on the collective consciousness of a community. Ali Asghar's martyrdom continues to be a poignant reminder of the cost of standing against tyranny and the ultimate price paid by those who seek justice. As we reflect on the tragic events of Karbala, the image of Hussein cradling his lifeless son remains etched in our minds, a symbol of unending sorrow and the profound injustice that was inflicted upon the innocent. The blood of Ali Asghar, mingled with the dust of Karbala, cries out to us through the annals of history, urging us never to forget the sacrifices made in the name of truth and justice. His story, though steeped in sorrow, continues to inspire a commitment to righteousness and a resolve to stand against oppression, no matter the cost. 